Oh, sure. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Rascals. Huge fan of the Rascals. Uh, Zach Wentz actually pops down to my school and helps out quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And that is just a respectful thing that he does for me. Um, but I've become such a huge fan. I, I knew him just a little bit from being at the WWE Performance Center in NXT uh, when he and Wesley came in. Mm -hmm. And I was amazed at the things they were doing. And I had no knowledge of them. So now getting to really work with him and see him at shows and seeing what those guys have or when they wrestle ABC, I'm just, I'm floored by the things that they could do. I think, you know, tag teams like that, like they have, they have such a bright future. Chris Bay, Ace Austin, another race. Um, I think there's such potential there with those guys as they move into the next, you know, as, as they get more groomed in season. Santana is on fire. Santana yeah. Holy cow, I haven't seen such a spark in him. And I'd worked with him previously a little bit, just at the same place. But mm -hmm. I'd seen him over the years, and, man, he is on fire. Steve Macklin, Steve Macklin is is giving us everything we need out of a hard-nosed fighter. Mm -hmm. um, I love I love that feel that he brings. And the system is on top, you know, doing well. It's th Those are more the, I'd say, the, the older fellows that have been in this industry quite a long time that have finally shifted their focus, you know, that to do their best to take over TNA. So we're starting to cross paths. That's another reason helping Joe out. You know, he's a, he, again, like I said, he's the Lone Ranger. He doesn't really have a lot of allies. He doesn't have a lot of allies, but the, people of that ilk, man, they're really coming up and, and doing some great business. Like ever since, again, ever since I started here and I watched the show, I'm like, these guys are amazing. What do you know? How come the world doesn't know about these people? 